Welcome to KNC's Sales Tech Talk for sales professionals seeking to amplify their results through automation. I'm Kelly Goss. And I am Carla Rodriguez. We are sales automation experts and we are going to demystify complex sales technologies. In this episode, we are going to talk about AI. I have prepared some questions for Kelly. And the first question is, what is the difference between automation and AI? Okay, so I think let's talk about business process automation. Um, and basically, I'm not gonna go into like too much detail about it, but essentially business process automation uses technology to automate things that are rule-based repetitive tasks in really specific predefined workflows. AI on the other hand, pretty much involves intelligent systems that are performing human-like tasks with quite advanced decision-making. So if we're gonna kind of like um, define, you know, do a split between them, we'd be saying that AI is adaptable and it learns while business process automation follows really specific rules that we are specifying for it. So why should, salespeople use AI and is it well I I know that AI can save us time uh, but it's possible to also be able to increase our sales can we grow with AI yeah so I would say that absolutely salespeople should be using AI um, and AI is actually really broad. So there's generative AI that can help you with creating content. Um, but there's also AI functionality that might be built into tools that you're already using um, as a salesperson. So that might be your CRM or your prospecting tool. Um, and, and AI really, as, as we all know, you know, AI has kind of exploded in, in 2023. It's actually ex existed for quite a long time, but it's only really in 2023 that people have started talking about it because of, you know, the great marketing exercise that came with chat GPT. So with the generative AI side of things, that's going to help you to save time with writing emails that are in your voice that might be better at converting than how you might be writing an email. But to add to that, when you're using tools that have AI built into it, those might be for lots of different reasons. But by using that, those, um, that AI functionality, just like if you were using features and functionality and optimizing um, different things within let's say pipe drive, for example, that's going to help you to sell better than if you weren't using any of those features and functionality. It's the same thing with AI. So being able to embrace it, but responsibly embrace it really is going to make a huge difference to the way that you work. And so it's not just about saving time. It's about actually adding better value to the things that you do, because for example, you could spend two hours trying to find information on on Google and looking at different websites when you're doing a search, but by putting the same search into chat GPT, for example, that's going to give you a summary of information, which would save you time, but will have you and it would give you a lot of concise information in a very short period of time. I have, um, well, I was imagining um, um, how they can use it. Actually, I use it a lot in Notion. Uh, I create my content there. I love to write and uh, I use it in, inside Notion. Um, but I was curious about what you said about responsible using AI. What do you mean by that? So I think the main thing is if, if you're using AI within your company, I think there are a lot of things that we still don't know about um, security issues with using chat GPT, for example, and all of these AI models learn from information that we put into them. So we're essentially training the AI models or the learning models to, to 
do things slightly better by the information that we're giving them. So one thing that I would suggest that you have as a, a, a policy for a for, for what a, for your company that you that you're working in is that it's very clear what kind of information you can share with with AI. So, for example, don't if you're using chat GPT, for example, I wouldn't use, you know, put in personal information, you know, confidential information there where you actually don't know where that data is going to be used. So that's that's pretty much what I mean by responsible usage. Interesting. Thank you. Kelly, what are some AI driven tools that can complement sales work? Carla, there are so many. Um, and this is this is really exciting to talk about, actually, because as technology is developing and AI is being integrated into a lot of technology, you'll probably find that a lot of the tools that you use yourself have got AI features and functionality being released. Um, but some of the tools that I think are really exciting that will be able to help salespeople, for example, transcription tools. So if you're attending um, a sales call and you want to make notes on uh, you know, th that meeting that you've had, you can use something like fireflies.ai or otter, and it will transcribe the meeting notes for you and actually give you positive and negative sentiments from the conversation, create action notes, highlight parts of the conversation, uh, which is actually really good. One, if you are a salesperson, you want to make notes, but also from a sales manager perspective, being able to get insights into what your sales team are actually doing. So that's one example. I think there are also a lot of prospecting tools that have AI built into them, which actually helps you to get better data. So being able to validate email addresses, have um, prospecting scores associated with contacts. A lot of tools like Seamless, for example, will use that. And I'm pretty sure things like Lucia and, and Lemlist use AI functionality. ChatGPT, everybody's talking about ChatGPT. But one really good example is being able to use uh, ChatGPT for writing cold emails. As you probably know, with a lot of generative AI tools, you have to be really good at your prompting. Mm -hmm. And maybe we'll do an episode on, on um, AI prompting at some point. But I think you can actually say things like, I want to write in this, I, I want a cold email written in this particular tone, and I want it to, to be a high converting email. And uh, you can actually train it to use your voice, essentially. So if you write it in a, emails in a particular way, but you still want it to be a, a high converting email, you can actually train it to write an email for you, which will be a high converting email. Um, another example would be calling tools. So things like Just Call, for example, have got AI functionality built into it, similar to what transcribing tools will, will use, where they'll actually give you sentiments from the call, sub call summaries, um, give you examples of whether or not a call is likely to be a high converting call. So that's quite cool. Um, one that isn't so specific to the sales aspect, but could be is if you are trying to improve your LinkedIn profile, uh, LinkedIn actually has a relatively new AI tool for profile writing, which is actually quite, quite brand good. New. Yeah, cool. yeah, quite, new, quite right. brand new and quite new and quite exciting. And of course, my, my favorites are actually combining automation and AI, where you can use tools like Zapier and integrate Zapier with OpenAI and ChatGPT for automatically drafting responses to things like inbound lead inquiries. Um, well, that's just one example, but you can do so much with it. Same situation with, you know, like writing sequences for, for emails or, you know, based on um, an inbound lead inquiry and then adding it into a sequence within Zapier and having that email written out for you. So 
I yeah, think I think like, for example, having a, it's like you have a bot that do the massive work, moving, moving, moving from one place to the other, the repetitive yeah. task. And then you have the AI, which is an intelligent bot that thinks for you. So you have a heavy lifting one and the other one is the, 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 the thinker. Intelligent. Yeah, you've got, you've got the muscles and the, the brain. Muscles. Yeah, interesting. <laughs> it's very interesting. Yeah. And then I think, you know, in relation to our favorite topic, of course, Pipedrive, uh, Pipedrive has a sales assistant that helps you to predict close probabilities and times and close deals faster. And I thought this would be a good opportunity, Carla, for you to add a little bit more context to that by showing us. It's very think? simple, but um, I, when I open Pipedrive, I go straight to uh, the system. And what I love is that, well, he provides me what I have to do in the day, but also he is saying me who is opening my emails and give me a list of people who is opening the emails or clicking on my proposals, which I love because I know that this person is very interested in, in, in our services. And I am also showing our trainees, our Pipedrive trainees to do this and be, became this a uh, habit. So this email tracking feature uh, with AI is, is, is great. And also Pipedrive is showing you which deals you have to focus because it has a higher probability of closing, which I also love. So Pipedrive is working very hard on this AI, on this uh, assistant that every salespeople can have. Yeah. And we know that there are going to be way more AI features that are going to be released in Pipedrive over the next few months and, and years. So there'll be things to look out for. So how does Kelly Goss uses AI on a daily basis? So I think the answer to that question is more, uh, if I ask the question again, how do I use AI and integrate automation into AI as well? Because that kind of is an important thing for me. I think AI can be great standalone, but it's even better if you use it with, with automation. So some examples, I love Fireflies, absolutely love Fireflies. I use that for all my sales calls. I use it on projects. Everybody in my team uses it. And it's amazing because we have automations that run in the background. When we have a Zoom call, we have automations that run to add the Zoom recording into folders that are specific to clients and the AI uh, transcription from Fireflies is also added in there as, as a PDF. So if anybody needs to refer back to that call, we don't even actually have to use the video. The video is there for the backup. Great. But we can actually use that PDF to search for keywords and everything else, which makes it really easy. So I love that. Um, we also, a lot of the team, uh, as well as myself, use chat GPT for various things, asking questions on random stuff, writing cold emails, like I mentioned earlier on, and, um, I specifically like the example that I mentioned earlier on about using Zapier and either OpenAI or ChatGPT to be able to reply to emails that are specific to the inquiries that are actually coming in. So we can tailor the email response exactly to how the wording is that somebody's put in an inquiry, which is actually really quite powerful. And those those email responses convert really well into sales calls, which is great. And um, I also love the Pipedrive sales assistant, like you mentioned earlier on, Carla. And also we, we do a lot with content writing that uses AI. So we kind of use, write our own blog articles and things like that, and actually put them through a content improver in a tool called Jasper um, AI, which is, is also really cool as well. I mean, there are, there are lots of other examples, but th those are the, are the most significant ones, definitely. It's a whole world and uh, it's very productive. And we can see that many uh, small businesses are using AI, and but some people can ask themselves, can I afford to use this? What thoughts do you have about it? Very simply, 
yes, because a lot of SaaS providers, so software as a service, software providers that are creating tools like Pipedrive or um, you know any other sales tool that you might be be using, those software providers are actually integrating AI into those tools for the same cost as what you're paying for your subscription. So in most cases, you have access to that functionality because they want you to use AI. I don't know if in the future they might be charging for it, but at the moment, they're, they're in most cases, they're, that functionality is included as part of what you pay. So it is absolutely affordable. And you'll also find free AI tools to do different things. And yeah, I think there's, there's no reason not to use AI to at least tr test it out and see how it might be able to benefit you and how much time it might save you. Learn and test. Learn and test. Absolutely. Great. So how can we help you? At Solver, we're Pipedrive and Zapier experts, and we help SMEs just like you supercharge your sales processes with automation and AI. And uh, at Agilisa, we help you also uh, improve your sales process automate with Pipedrive, Pipedrive CRM. And stay tuned for our next episode. And before we wrap up, just to say that if you have any need to want to contact us, just check out the episode notes and you'll find details of all the tools that we are using and what we've talked about today. So we'll see you in the next episode. Bye. Bye.